bioinformatics has been around for a long time, but in the clinical setting it's a very new uh, profession. It's important um, for the profession, for the specialism to be recognised as a healthcare science. There's more and more clinical tests in the NHS being done that generate large volumes of data and the people that write the algorithms, that write the software and do the analysis for that data need to be working to the same professional standards as the people that generate the data, the healthcare scientists at the bench that process the samples the consultants at the end of the process that report the clinical results all work to scientific and clinical standards and we as a profession need also to work to those standards so this course is very important in that regard as we're getting the same level of training as the rest of, of the science professionals in the healthcare service. Up until recently, there's, it's very much been the case of there's a lone bioinformatician in a rather large department of genetic scientists. But now that um, the technology is, is moving on and sequencing in particular is, is becoming a more standardised tool in different areas of healthcare science. So there's a move towards people in biochemistry, there's a move towards microbiology and blood sciences, transfusion sciences. There isn't a lot of, of embedded experience within those different parts of the hospital, so this defined programme of, of training will actually help embed this discipline in, in other areas of healthcare science. The opportunity to take on side projects is something that's a bit outside of your normal scope of work, particularly if you're in a busy routine diagnostic service where it's paramount to get the results out on a weekly basis and of course that remains the focus of your job but this gives you an opportunity to actually change those practices, an opportunity to influence people and to try something new and to say well is there a better way of doing this? I think one of the benefits at the moment of, of doing the HSST, particularly for clinical bioinformatics, is that there is a real opportunity for people at a more senior level to direct the way that the profession is going and to help shape that as it becomes more mature. Because clinical bioinformatics is not yet part of the FRC PATH programme and it's not been decided whether it will be, being involved in the programme gives you the opportunity to actually shape those discussions and decide where the profession is, is best to move in the future. Mm -hmm.